Hello, in this tutorial I will teach you how to add a film look to a portrait in GIMP 2.8. The effect I'm about to create is a faded black and white with a layer of grain on the top. And here is another example. This is the portrait of my daughter. I decided to play with it and came up with a look I'm going to show you now. Ok, take the saturate tool and turn your image into black and white. If you don't know where it is, go to Colors Desaturate. Next duplicate your image. Set it to Grain Merge mode. Reduce the opacity to about 40, maybe 37%. Here you will have to adjust it according to your oven image. Every image is different. Next, duplicate the very top layer and set it to Grain Extract mode. This is where the fading coming from. When I discovered it, I was excited like a baby. However, this effect in my opinion works only with black and white images. In color it looks kind of weird. Set this layer to have slightly less opacity than the Grain Merge layer. In my case it's 34%. Add a new transparent layer. Now we are going to create some grain. Set your foreground color to middle gray, which is 80, 80, 80. Take bucket fill tool and fill the transparent layer with gray color. Set this layer to grain merge mode. Now we are going to add the grain. Go to filters, noise, RGB noise. Here tick off correlated noise and independent RGB. I'm setting it to 10, but if you have smaller image, choose smaller number. Now we need to soften it a bit. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. We are going to be very delicate here. Set it to 0 0.5 pixels. For a better effect, we need to repeat last two steps. So go again, filters, noise, RGB noise. The only difference now we need to increase the number. So I'm going to increase it to 13 and you try it with your own image how much you need to increase it. We need to soften it again. Just don't ask me why am I doing it twice instead of once in the end. It just went like this. So once again 0 0.5 pixels and we are done. I'm going to zoom in now to show you what the image looks like with the grain and without the grain. As you see the grain makes the image look more vintage. Well I'm not an expert but I think it looks nicer now. If you feel that it's a bit too much of the grain you can always reduce the opacity of the layer and this is what I'm going to do now. Yes, I guess that with the half of the opacity it looks better. And now traditionally I will show you the before and after look. I'm going to duplicate the original black and white image and then I will merge all the rest of the images into one by going to Image, Merge Visible Layers. And here they are, the image before and the image after. I feel that this faded effect at the grain enhanced this portrait quite a bit. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!